Welcome back to the channel guys. We are talking everything Nikon Z6 full frame mirrorless camera. First things first, I am shooting this video on my Nikon Z6. The camera is so good in photos and videos. That's why I don't have it in my hand because it is actually recording. I use it for everything. I work professionally with hotels. I work in travel. I work with fashion brands and this camera has done it all for me and more. So if you've been on my channel before, you know I am a Nikon shooter. I've been shooting Nikon since the day I picked up a camera literally 15 years ago. And there are a few reasons why I still shoot Nikon, but what some of you might not know is that I only switched to mirrorless camera a few years ago. I held on to my SLR for a very long time, and I wanna talk about my switch to the Nikon Z6, why I did it, and why I love it. So why I switched to mirrorless? Truth to be told, I like to switch my camera every three or four years max and that is because as a professional it's really important that I am up to date and with the latest technology. You always want to make sure you're not left behind and working with things that are literally holding you back from doing your best work. So three four years ago when my Nikon D750 started to feel a little bit outdated, I realized that a lot of the focus tracking and a lot of the things that I needed to do my work properly were not quite up to date with what was available, I realized that it was time to upgrade. I was a little bit resistant to upgrade to a mirrorless for a few reasons. First, it was the digital LCD screen versus uh, looking through the viewfinder. I knew that mirrorless cameras use a lot more battery than the SLRs, of course, again, because of the LCD screen versus the optical viewfinder. And I knew it was gonna be an adjustment to change to that. I also knew that switching to mirrorless camera meant new lens system, new memory cards, new batteries, and a whole new set of accessories. So it was gonna be a much bigger investment and upgrade than I've ever done before. But the reason why I still do it is because I believe that every photographer, especially those who work professionally, should try to keep up with the trends and move forward with technology. I see it a little bit like what is happening with AI right now. There is the people that are scared of it and want nothing to do with it. And then there is people that figure out how to use it in their favor and how to grow within their industry. Back in the day, film photographers were hesitant to upgrade to digital and they thought it was just a fad and that it would eventually fade out and that you weren't a real photographer unless you were shooting film and the film became outdated and replaced very quickly. Now that's not to say that film isn't great for a style or a look or even as your professional choice but Digital cameras are what professional photographers use today. So a lot of photographers got left behind because they didn't want to upgrade, they didn't want to modernize. So I think it was really important for me to realize that if I wanted to stick with photography and I wanted to become part of the future of photography, I had to at least think about it and give it a try. I knew DSLRs were getting left behind. Most companies are not producing newer versions of their DSLR models and instead they're moving to mirrorless cameras. That alone should make you realize that your camera is gonna get outdated sooner than later. I also realized that mirrorless cameras had a much faster focusing system. So I upgraded to mirrorless because I knew it was the future of photography. I knew there was the only way to keep up with technology and make sure that I kept evolving and that all my software and all my accessories were gonna be able to be compatible with my camera. But also I tested the Z6 and I couldn't believe the autofocusing system. I can actually tap focus on the LCD screen and really, really see where my focusing is. I can override with the lens, I can override with auto or manual, and really the technology on mirrorless had advanced so fast by the time I switched that I knew SLRs were never gonna compare. It did take me a while to get used to it, but I'll tell you that after two or three professional shoots, I was already using my mirrorless like I've always had it. Today, I cannot even pick up my SLR. It feels like a dinosaur. I don't know where the buttons are, and I constantly keep trying to tap on the screen and I don't know where to find it. I'm a classic photography lover. I love a good vintage look and I love a good old manual camera. And I was so resistant at the beginning to be the photographer that is looking at taking photos from the back of the screen 
cannot through the viewfinder. But now that I've gotten used to it, it's very hard for me to go back. So sometimes we feel like change is scary and it's not the right thing. But if you lean into the curve and you try something new, you often get rewarded with the result. And I have become a much better photographer since I've been shooting mirrorless because I have a lot of help to automate a lot of things on the camera that I couldn't do with my SLR. I love this camera because it's light, it's portable, it looks cool and to be honest once I got used to the change it is so similar to all my other Nikons that I know exactly where my fingers need to go. It wasn't that much of a dramatic switch. I consider for a second switching to a Sony mirrorless because they are amazing and in fact Sony is usually what I recommend to new students who never use a camera before but again I'm so used to Nikon. Nikon is what I shoot it's kind of an extension of my arm so to me it was a no-brainer it made much more sense to stick to my brand I also when I bought this camera bought the adapter ring so I was able to use a lot of the lenses I still had into this new camera now of course I have fully upgraded to native lenses to the camera and I am so much happier like I mentioned, another reason why I love this camera is the tap screen and being able to focus right on it. I find it so helpful. It's literally like having an assistant working with me. I also love that it uses the same batteries as my old SLR because I ended up having so many extra batteries and I love the lens range. I have a 24, a 50, and a 35 prime lenses and I also have a 2470 2.8 zoom lens. I love all of my lenses. They are sharp, they are bright and they were quite affordable. What I don't like about this camera, honestly there isn't much. I would just say the one thing I don't like about this camera is the memory cards. Although they're super reliable and they're sturdy and they're amazing, they are quite expensive. The XQD cards go for about $200 a pop and it's a steep price. So it's not the end of the world, but of course coming from shooting SD cards, which I had so many of them, I need to be a little bit more careful when I shoot, making sure that I'm bucking up my files and wiping my cards to have enough for a shoot because having extra cars can get quite expensive quite fast. That's it, that's all. I love everything else about the camera. And lastly, how to know if this camera is for you? Guys, choosing a camera is absolutely personal. It is a choice and don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. You can spend hours on YouTube and blogs and on forums, checking out people's opinions, comparing the quality, zooming in, and at the end of the day, no one's gonna notice the difference, not even you. Pick a camera that is at your level of skill and a little bit beyond so you can grow with it and advance, and pick a camera that feels good in your hands and that makes you excited to create and that is easy to use. And if you already shoot a brand, stick to the same brand for commodity sake, or if you have friends that have a camera, Maybe it's a great idea to have their same brand so you can borrow lenses. Basically pick a camera that makes sense for you. If you're between two or three cameras and you can't decide, go to a store, pick up a couple of them, shoot around, test them out and see what feels good for you. I'm very tactile when it comes to photography. Your camera truly should feel like an extension of your hands. And if you're a newbie, any camera is gonna feel a little bit difficult at the beginning. Just trust the process have that manual with you at all times, watch lots of videos, and shoot until you no longer feel like this is a foreign object and it feels like an extension of your body. Hope this video was helpful, and if you have any questions, as always, leave it in the comment below. So I would love to get back to you. Don't forget to subscribe and like and all the things, and I'll see you next time.